the major problem which I encountered during my initial steps for my power wall project was uh, when I was salvaging these uh, 8650 cells is to properly test them because I didn't want uh, unnecessary problems when I do uh, uh, final steps of installation for a power wall. So these are the steps how you should test your salvaged lithium ion cells before you uh, continue using, using them for any kind of projects. This is recommended and uh, trust me, these steps are mandatory if you want to be on the safe side. These cells here are from Bosch Power Packs. Uh, I had uh, three packs of uh, 120 cells in total, 40 cells per pack. And these cells are what I managed to salvage. So I have around 60 cells which are in process of testing. These were deeply discharged with nearly uh, uh, with under one voltage usually. Some were around 2.7, but those were a rare cases. These are completely dead cells, which even after seed reactivated, they won't accept charge of any kind and fastly lose the voltage even after I tried to top them up. So let's focus on these cells which are giving some uh, uh, sign. So what I usually do is when I disassemble the pack, I check for the voltage Though, uh, and I sort the cells out. First, I sort the healthy cell with healthy voltage. Those are all above 2.7 volts. I sort them in the one box. Those cells under uh, 2.7 volts with any voltage, I sort in the next box. And what you want to do with, uh, in my case, those cells were healthy cells. You want to place them in your uh, charger and uh, slowly charge them up. I have current option of 300 milliamps on these little colors. So use that option and slowly charge them constantly uh, 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 touching them uh, because these cells can be heaters. They can overheat a lot. So you want to slowly charge them and check them often uh, if they are uh, really hot they can go hot from my experience if you can touch them and keep uh, your hand on them and if it's not burning that's completely fine especially for the first charge if the cells weren't charged for a prolonged period of time this pack is 10 years old and the cells are who knows when last time charged when you finish charging those cells for the first time you want to place them in the box and leave them there for let's say one to two days after that you want to check the voltage with your multimeter and they should keep the voltage topped if the voltage is not keeping uh, in the desired voltage uh, range for me that's at least 4.15 uh, volts and when they, they are topped they are uh, 4.2 4 if they are slowly discharging, you should shuffle them a few more times. So repeat the process. Slowly discharge them and slowly charge them up. Then leave them in the box and check the voltage after one to two days. If the voltage is normal, leave the cells in the box and go back and recheck them after like six days or the week is the best. With recovered cells, which had a low voltage or if you reset the seed. Um, I won't go into steps how I uh, uh, topped up the voltage. There are a few variations of that, but th that is not important thing right now. Uh, what you want to do is to keep shuffle shuffling them slowly and recheck the voltage. Uh, basically, that is only uh, important factor. I have the cell here, let's say, this one, I have cell here which constantly was losing voltage, but after I think four cycles of discharging and slowly charging it, this is a, a, a I think a third day and it, it has a stable voltage. 
and it is probably a keeper. It doesn't heat, it uh, keeps the voltage uh, stable, uh, it looks fine. Here is a one problematic cell. It was losing a voltage a lot and uh, after few cycles uh, I managed to uh, get it a bit stable. It lost the voltage from 4.2 to 4.134 uh, and that is in two days. It is still not good. I will try to shuffle it a few times more and uh, see how it behaves. And in this case, this black dot means that the cell was a heater and uh, that is losing voltage. It was heating a lot. I was unable to hold it in, in hand. And now after few shuffles and uh, like, uh, I think it is a third day for this cell, it has a voltage relatively stable at uh, 4.148, which is quite a good considering that was uh, at the beginning a bad cell, but it has uh, quite a low uh, capacity, which means that I will probably use it in, in, in something not that uh, important. I have these cells here. They still didn't pass my testing procedure 100%. So we have the cell one, with, which is 4.133. So it is risky, it will probably uh, go down uh, even more. We have 4 4.161, 4.162, 4.168, 4.148, 4.147, 4.170. 4.151 so if the voltage this one is already on lowish side it will probably go below 4.1 which i don't like it is not a good cell i will try to shuffle it a few more times and see how it behaves but let's say we have cells here which were bad but uh, after a few cycles of charging and dis discharging this is what I have after two days. It is uh, uh, 4.196, which is quite a good, uh, 4.195, and so on, so on. I consider these cells uh, uh, as um, something, something that promises. And I have these cells which show really good promises. This is cell which is, uh, which have a, a seed rested, uh, it was low voltage, it is recovered, cycled, and after one week it have a 4.999. Uh, really good cell. And they go in the box, they are a candidate for some reuse uh, depending on situation. So always keep in mind the testing, 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 and keep testing. With these healthy cells, it is quite a simple. From my experience, I salvage 99% of them without any problem. There are a few exceptions, like uh, this one here. This one is a heater. It constantly overheats on the charging, and uh, I will uh, just uh, remove it from the pack. It is not safe to use it. I did try to shuffle it a few times, but it doesn't help. Testing the cells is quite a, a long process. It takes time. Uh, always, when I test the cells, I am present. I never, I never leave them. I always keep touching them for a temperature check. I don't want to leave them uh, uh, without me present uh, in the apartment. Uh, these uh, cells here in this box uh, are tested and I am 90% sure that they are usable. I am leaving them here for like a week, two, and I will recheck the voltage if I see uh, if any cell has uh, any major uh, voltage loss. Uh, so this is the process which I do. Sadly, this pack which I got had a lot of bad cells. I was aware that the voltage of the pack was really low, just few volts, but I wanted to risk and see how much I salvage. 
it uh, I spent a lot of time for this pack and uh, it wasn't really a super uh, great buy but uh, I was able to get around 60 cells which uh, will be usable for f further uh, projects some uh, some will go in power walls some will go in uh, some other packs but uh, the point of this video is to give you idea how you should proceed with testing the cells and uh, uh, taking every possible step to 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 test the cell and get the most of them uh, you don't want to risk with cells which overheat uh, when charge or discharge or uh, if you leave the cell uh, topped up with voltage and uh, come back after two weeks and recheck the voltage if the voltage dropped significantly uh, and uh, for me uh, too much is uh, like if you top it up on 4.2 if the voltage drops 4.1 that is the bad cell it is not uh, a recommended cell to use in anything when you want a reliable cells so just skip it use it for some cheap power bank casing that is uh, probably the best uh, use scenario I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, this is probably my first video covering uh, these cells which I will use for my uh, power wall project or my small uh, power plant in my village house. I already got MPP solar 2.4 kilowatts uh, uh, off-grid inverter. It will be a 7S uh, power wall. So consider subscribing, uh, follow me with this project, share your comment, opinion, and until next time, see you.